Hey guys, this is Mike with The 38 Company. I'm here with my good friend Dyson. Dyson is founder and CEO of the Java Can. Uh, you're a Green Beret, 17 years under that uh, belt. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, so it's been an honor just to kind of give my best years of my life to the service of this country and they've paid it tenfold by sending me all over the world. So you've spent about uh, half of those deployments in the Middle East and Afghanistan and the other half? Yeah, in South America. So South America. I've, I've done uh, three deployments to Afghanistan. I was part of the initial invasion into Iraq when that kicked off. But really my, my passion to kind of create this started from an experience uh, on my first trip to Afghanistan. Uh, now, in 2009, now 10 years ago. It, it, was, a, it was a rough trip, for sure. Um, I found refuge in the mountains. I was, I was privileged enough to have a mountain on my firebase. So after um, a mission or, or some sort of kind of outing with our partner force, I would come home, I would drop off my gear, and I would, I would climb this mountain on our, on our firebase. On top of this mountain, I had a can just like this with some coffee stuff. And I would go up there, just sweat, and just kind of release all that energy. And I would go up there and just take my can out of its little cachet, and I would just intensely make coffee. And I would sit there and watch the sunrise. And enjoy a cup of coffee. And enjoy a cup of coffee. Eventually, I would bring my teammates up and our Afghan partner forces, and we would share in that same experience. And I don't know what that did, but it was, I mean, it was church to me. Yeah. It was, it, that, that place, to me, it was sacred. So on September 11th, 2014, while deployed to Afghanistan, I started the company. So guys, you can go to the javacan.com. Um, let's uh, actually take a look at one of these things. So show us what the Java Can is. So the Java Can is the very first field espresso kit inside of a military ammunition can. So I was able to replicate my experience on that mountain in Afghanistan and create something that uh, brought me those same feelings from when, when I was there. Uh, so I tried really hard to put as much um, coffee product in a small space. That way it could be thrown in the back of a Land Rover or in, in a van with your kids and then you could enjoy coffee really anywhere you go. So I was able to include a uh, coffee maker. This is a four cup uh, mocha pot. Good coffee should always be ground up to make it fresh. It has a, a frothing pitcher uh, if you wanted to make lattes. It even comes with a stove. But I, I think the most important part is I feel good coffee should always be shared. So I added four cups. So inside you have everything you need to make a really good cup of coffee anywhere in the world. Well, it's uh, fortunately for me and probably you, it's not a hillside in Afghanistan, but it is wonderful to spend time with friends and to share a good cup of coffee. So Thanks, thank Mike. you for your service. I love that. That's awesome. It's so good. Yeah. Delicious. Cheers, guys. Salute.